so now we are going to see embedded system design technologies okay so for past uh, 25 years uh, we had used uh, only three technology for designing the embedded system design uh, that is crossler technology ic technology and design technology so first we are going to see the crossler technology so crossler technology is nothing but you will be having more uh, different types of uh, crosslers okay so based on the crosslers we are going to design the embedded system okay that is crossler technology so crossler is nothing but the based on the computation architecture okay computation in software uh, which going to be uh, implemented in the um, crossler based on that uh, you are going to design the embedded technology uh, embedded system okay uh so first we are going to see the general purpose processor for example your computer system okay uh, general purpose processor patina you will be uh, having um uh, uh, what many applications you can do many applications variety of applications uh, so that uh, the designer using a uh, general purpose processor will build a device suitable for a variety of application to maximize the number of device sold so one uh, feature of such a processor is their program memory so program memory in the program memory the designer will use uh, programs to save it okay uh, which will be uh, running on the processor so here it cannot build the uh, program into the digital circuit okay so by using the program memory the designer can able to store the programs which he has to implement okay that alone uh, can be stored in the uh, program memory uh, which cannot be converted into the digital circuit okay by using general purpose processor so another feature patina general data path so data path will be general here okay specific oriented ore ore particular process mattum pandra idha anda system a anda it will do only that particular uh, work okay for example digital camera digital camera patina it will take film okay film and uh, it will be uh, producing the uh, image that's all okay none other than work will be done by the digital camera similarly uh, yeah, for example oven okay microwave uh, oven okay that one so uh, it will cook that's all okay so by changing the temperature and time it will be cooking the Good. Okay, that's all it will do. But computer system will do many tasks like uh, you can see the pro video, audio. You can calculate it. Okay, you can do any uh, applications in the general purpose processor by inserting few uh, devices, additional circuit. At that time, you can do many applications in the general purpose processor. Okay. so general data path uh, so here the data path will be general which will be able to handle many computations variety of computation so do a, for doing many computation it will be requiring large register file okay uh, uh, to store the arithmetic logic performance okay so arithmetic logic performance is done by the alu general purpose arithmetic logic unit okay which will do the all arithmetic and logical performance for storing all the data it will require large register so that the design of the uh, system will be very large in size okay it will not be compact so this will be the drawback of uh, processor an embedded system designer simply use a general purpose processor by programming the processor memory to carry out the required functionality so processor memory alone the embedded system designer will use it okay he will not use the program memory okay the program will be uh, uh, customized by the user not by the designer because uh, we are going to general this is general purpose processor so it will do more task not one task or two task it will do more task based on the user's need okay so so that uh, the program memory will be uh, not uh utilized by the designer as well as the data path data path also will be general so data path and really you are giving input okay 
So the input will be provided by the user, not by the designer, for doing many performance. Okay, uh, and then many people refer to this portion of an implementation simply as the software portion. That is, um, uh, the user doing process will be uh, referred as a software. Okay, in the general purpose uh, process. So, using a general purpose processor in an embedded system may result in several design metric benefits. So, here you will be having benefits also and then some disadvantages also will be available in the uh, GPP, uh, that is general purpose processor. So, here the design time and NRE cost will be very low. So, design time, a design time very low now, uh, we are designing the system for general purpose okay you don't want to design the system for specific tasks updating refer the time will be very minimum nre cost is an additional cost okay additional cost to take up uh, for example if you camera digital camera you have to keep lens etc everything has to be included but uh general purpose okay so user they will be including the additional circuits okay to the general purpose processor. So that's why uh, design time and NRE cost will be very low. Okay. And then flexibility. Flexibility will be very high. So depending on the user's need, uh, you can design the device. Okay. That's why flexibility is If you use the application, they will design that particular application. So after two days, where the application Monday day delays la panona, they will do. So flexibility will be more compact in this device. And then uh, unit cost may be relatively. Abdina unit cost for the particular system will be very high. So in the point parting na the unit cost may be too high for large quantities. It is uh, so general purpose processor patina, for example, one of the laptop patina. You will be paying uh, you, for your laptop 25, about 25,000. If you calculate the patina, 600, 700, you can get it. Okay. The same uh, calculator doing process only will be done by the uh, computer system. Okay. And the computer system is the same process. Computation is the same. Calculator is the same. You will be doing many processes. MS Office. Um, uh, video, everything you will be doing, but a uh, calculator la patina, you will be doing only one task that is calculation. That's all okay. Adanala, one task pandrata cost will be very low, but uh, many tasks pandrata the cost unit cost will be very high. Okay, with the difference, and then next performance may be fast. So, performance of the uh, device will be very fast in the uh, general purpose process. And then uh, the performance will be very slow for certain applications. So certain applications will be slow for but generally it will be fast. And then size and power will be very high because here we are going to use more hardware for the processor. Okay, general purpose processor, you will be using more hardware so that the size will be very large and power will be consuming high. Uh, for example, calculator. Calculator size, but in a compact size, you can keep it in your packet. On a day, laptop packet, this size will be very high. Okay. The next. So, process vary in their customization for the problem at hand. So, three uh, types of uh, processor use funny diagram. You can look over it. So here, this is the general purpose processor. Simply you consider this diagram. Don't think, in a or square box, you put the general purpose processor in the solving you think this is a general purpose processor, either application specific processor, either single purpose processor. But in order need one day, I need this application, this black color. Okay. So either one day, now general purpose register, like they I can implement it. Okay. I can design it. In the square box like day madri diagram i can able to draw it okay so adhe madri application specific processor la patina diagram i can draw within this 
இங்க பாத்தீங்கன்னா நிறைய ஹார்ட்வேர்ஸ் will be used but here somewhat some extra hardware only will be used unwanted hardware will be removed here in the side la la remove panirukangala idu da enna application specific process idhe paathina only single purpose processor mattum na paathina enoda theva enna vo adhe da adu mattum da irukku and hardware mattum da irukku appo idhu vandi idukkuliye add aayidum okay va idukkuliye apply porundidum okay so this is the uh, difference of uh, three processor okay general purpose processor na paathina you can design the uh, your uh, task in the general purpose processor but uh, unwanted circuits will be presented in the general purpose processor okay idhe paathina so application specific processor la paathina idhukku idhukku enna difference na inge konjam konjam theviyana for example uh, you will be using alu unit okay in the general purpose uh, uh, processor but as application specific processor la you don't want to use uh, alu so enna task theviyo and the and the particular application ku enna thaan theviyo adu mattum da unwanted blocks uh, circuits will be removed here okay so maximum neraya applications ku eppadi design pannalamo and the circuits mattum da present aayirukku but idu pathina ore or task da calculation na calculation mattum da pannu video edukadu audio edukadu and the maari but inga many applications can be done here okay more than one idu vandu general you can modify everything okay this is the difference of these three processor are uh, implemented in a system the next we are going to see the single purpose processor hard hardware uh, so single purpose processor is a digital circuit designed to execute exactly one program so only one program can be uh, uh, designed for single purpose processor for example digital camera so all of the component other than the microcontroller will be utilized only for the camera digital camera purpose alone adha pathina microcontroller mattum da general a irukum general component a irukum remaining component is only for taking the picture okay so for example jpeg codec so this is a component uh, which will be executing a single program okay that is will compress and decompress the video frame video frame ah compress panum decompress panna mattum da it will be using okay other than that it will not uh, do uh, then uh, an embedded system designer creates a single purpose processor by designing a custom digital circuit as discussed in the later chapter that is uh, designer will use only one processor maximum embedded system designer will use only one processor okay for doing the custom design custom design means for example oven oven now only for cooking fridge now only for cooling the product uh, washing machine now only for uh, doing uh, washing the clothes okay and madri only one work only one task single task only uh, preferred by the embedded system designer for designing this systems so many people refer to this portion of the implementation simply as the hardware okay so it was a task for mattum pandrada hardware nu mattum na many of the engineers will use the word okay so using a single purpose processor in an embedded system result in several design metric benefits and drawback so single purpose processor use pandradunala you will be having many advantages and also few disadvantages so this will be equivalent to your opposite to your um, uh, general purpose register ange enna enna advantages disadvantages undudha inge vande aduk opposite ah irukum ange advantage ah undudha inge disadvantage ah irukum inge disadvantage ah undudha aduk advantage ah irukum that's the difference okay adha da which are essentially the inverse of those for general purpose processor so performance may be fast size and power may be small so performance pathina fast ah irukum size and power will be very small in the single purpose processor but ange pathina it will be very high size and power okay general purpose nu rapa the size will be very large but here single ingradanaala ore ore task ingradanaala the uh, hardware will be very uh, low hardware will be used so that the size will be very minimum and then cost will be very low here okay example calculator calculator um pathina ore embedded system design da 
கால்குலேட்டரோட காஸ்ட் வந்து லோவா இருக்கும் இதே பாத்தீங்கன்னா லேப்டாப் காஸ்ட் வந்து அதிகமா இருக்கும் ஆனா இது லேப்டாப்ல கால்குலேட்டருக்கு என்ன ஒர்க் பண்றியோ அதே ஒர்க் தான் கால்குலேட்டரையும் பண்ணுவேன் அதிகமாகும் அடிஷனல் சர்க்யூட்ஸ் அந்த காஸ்ட் மட்டும்தான் அதிகமாகும் மற்றபடி இட் வில் பி லோ பிளக்சிபிலிட்டி வில் பி வெரி லோ இன் த சிங்கிள் பர்பஸ் காஸ்ட் பிகாஸ் இட் வில் பி டூயிங் ஒன்லி ஒன்லி ஒன் டாஸ்க் நாட் மோர் டாஸ்க் then uh, unit cost will be very low so we have done already the performance may not match with the general purpose processor for some applications yes we will be doing only one performance so it will not match for some other uh, applications at all so see the comparison of functionality of uh, different processor type general purpose application specific single purpose so this is the general purpose processor so controller part controller block data part block and then program memory data memory this will be including in the general purpose processor are they spe application specific processor la patina it will be having controller data part program memory data memory but there will be a change in the data part block alone okay so in the patina you will be using general amu arithmetic logic unit so generally you will be using okay every operators will be included in the general alu but custom alu na whatever you need for calculating for particular applications under the operators mattum na it will be uh, folded in the alu unit okay adanalada it means custom alu okay so more operators will not be available in the custom alu whatever operators we needed for the particular applications uh, alone will be present in the AL. Okay, this is the difference of these two. And then, now you look at a single purpose processor. So here, controller will be present, but here you will not be using this uh, program counter interrupt request at all. Okay, so this at all don't want here because uh, we are not going to get a program from the program memory. What program we are going to use now? which program going to be uh, which task going to be performed uh, at this time at next time like that you will not be getting any data from the program memory okay that will be avoided so here you will be having instead of that you will be having state register status okay current status what what is the current running state that will be uh, uh, represented in the state register okay uh, data path in patina you will be having particular operators alone okay ena idu vandha single purpose so enna enna nama panna poromo design panna poromo adoda operators mattum irundha podum okay we don't want more than that operator so the minimum uh, operators will be present in the data part so data memory needed ena you know, this will be providing input signal okay input signal and data okay so idu idu paakrappa என்ன தெரியுது த சைஸ் ஆஃப் த சிங்கிள் ப்ரோ பர்பஸ் ப்ராசஸர் அலோன் மினிமம் கம்பேர்ட் டு அதர் டூ டூ ப்ராசஸர் தட் இஸ் ஜெனரல் பர்பஸ் அண்ட் அப்ளிகேஷன் ஸ்பெசிஃபிக் ப்ராசஸர் ஓகே திஸ் இஸ் த கம்பேரிசன் ஆஃப் ஜெனரல் பர்பஸ்